Hi everyone, today I will show you a fun feature in Blender, Network Rendering. This powerful technique allows you to distribute your rendering tasks across multiple computers, making the rendering process much faster and more efficient. Before continuing first, we must know what network or distributed rendering means. Network rendering refers to the process of using multiple computers, connected over a network, to perform rendering tasks collaboratively. This means several computers, often called nodes, are connected within a local network or through the internet. These computers work together to render a single project. Note, this technique works only with image sequences. It does not render a single frame across multiple computers. Instead, it assigns separate images to separate computers for rendering. First, open the project containing the animation you want to render. Next, share the folder on the network. This is important. Ensure that the sharing permissions are set to read and write. Now, access your shared folder through your computer's file explorer over the network. Create a folder where you want to save your image sequence and copy that network path. Next, paste that network path in your render output location in Blender. Now, make sure that in your image sequence properties, overwrite is unchecked and placeholder is checked in your Blender project. That's it. This is all we need to do in our Blender project. Now save your file and close it. Now, you only need a two-line script. Create a text file using Notepad. For the first line, write CD and add Blender location. This is where my Blender application is installed. It's best if your application is saved in the default location on your computers. Otherwise, you'll have to update this path on every client PC where you run the script, and in the second line, you will add your project file location after writing Blender, but the location should have network path, for example, Blender B then using backslash and add location with its extension. And in the end, you will add A. The B in this line is for background, and A is for animation. And now the only thing you have to do is to change the extension of the text file to BAT file and run this file as administrator on UPCs. Hope this technique helps you in new future projects. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe.